Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest here. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. But you can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay. So this is for Gemini and the person on Gemini's mind. Gemini and the person on Gemini's mind. So for Gemini and the person on Gemini's mind here. Okay. So we have the chariot in the past. This is cancer energy here. So I'm seeing that in the past here, um, I see that somebody was trying to move things forward here, trying to move in a direction, but I see that it was a little bit of a struggle. So I see that you've been having some sort of struggle in the past here, things could have been one-sided. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So let's clarify the, the chariot here and the star card. Okay, so I'm seeing that there's been a lot of patience. Somebody has been trying to stay hopeful here um, when it comes to some sort of movement. Um, things going into uh, a direction for, for some of you maybe you felt as though this was a little bit out of reach when it comes to your person in mind but I see that there was some sort of patience or I see that you have done some healing you have moved forward from and started to heal already here with the star card looking forward and looking towards Looking towards the light at the end of the tunnel here, I see that in the past somebody was really like indecisive, confused about making a decision, making a choice, which kept things kind of stagnant or things have been slowing down. So somebody has been patiently um, wishing or hoping or praying for some sort of movement because things were uh, in the past have been stagnant, I see here or somebody was blocked, but a decision just wasn't being made. Somebody wasn't making a choice. And um, I see that in the past you haven't really been talking. In your person's energy, we have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So let's take a look at what your person is thinking, feeling in terms of you and the situation here okay we have the three of swords so your person i see that they are feeling heartbroken right now i see that this person has um i see that this person puts up like a, a front here like as if they are happily single with girl tech we have time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so i get a sense that this person is like um posting pictures like um partying or going out and stuff making it seem like they are having all this fun or they're living in the moment they're happy single but the reality of the situation is that this person is heartbroken this person is deeply hurt they're in pain they're sad and I also get this sense that this person is is crying over you. So let's clarify this Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords for me, please. We got two cards. Okay. So I see that you have you and this person haven't been seeing eye to eye on certain values that you each have. Um, or seeing eye to eye 
when it comes to some sort of um, feelings here. So Page of Cups, this person has feelings for you and I see that they're heartbroken with the way that things have went. So this could also be an ex for some of you here. But this person is, um, is trying to take certain steps to ease the pain or ease the heartbreak. But their heart is still shattered over you. And they're still in their feelings about you here. I see that this person is... Um, is almost like expecting an apology. There's some sort of apology that they're expecting or that they're desiring from you here. This person is um, heartbroken about maybe someone else in the picture. Somebody could have been married or in a relationship. So in your energy, Gemini, we have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So let's look at what you're thinking, what you're feeling in terms of your person and the situation, Gemini. By the way, um, Three of Swords, that is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. So there's some sort of pattern here that you're starting to realize that maybe you're the one that's giving too too much of yourself or um, things you're starting to realize that things are not reciprocated here. Um, someone is only interested in like how it could benefit them or how it could benefit you. Meanwhile, the other person is doesn't have much to give other than their feelings and their emotions here. So you're starting, there's a pattern that you're trying to break. There's some sort of pattern that you're trying to break that you've been patient about already for quite some time. So you've been patient for some time already from what I'm seeing. And I see that, I'm seeing that for some of you, you're open to, to having a serious conversation about how to work things out here or how to uh, collaborate or each bringing something to the table, some sort of growth here, or there's some sort of, there's something that you're trying to teach this person, some sort of knowledge about things being more equal, reciprocated or balanced here. Uh, but I see that you are interested in having a, a talk. You're interested in having a conversation with this person here and I see that there's something that you're that you could be learning maybe you're in school but there's something that you're starting to learn about that has to do with um, that has to do with something that is being given here but I see that you're for some of you are even starting to learn that things haven't been balanced and maybe for some of you you've been breadcrumbed and in the near future, we have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So let's take a look at the near future with you and your person in mind. Gemini, what is coming in the near future for Gemini and the person on Gemini's mind here? Oh, that was fast. Okay, so I see that there's a little bit of some sort of annoyance. Somebody is starting to get annoyed here that somebody is always, um, fo somebody's being like pushed away. I see that for some of you, you could be pushing your person away. There's something that has your attention, whether that's your work or your career or another person. Um, but this person feels as though they're being pushed away here and they're starting to get upset about it or annoyed about about it you could be giving this person the silent treatment so you may not be showing this person how you truly feel about a situation or I see this person not really speaking up about it so it's like we need to have this conversation you're aware that there needs to be a conversation but I see in the next few weeks here um someone's still not expressing their true feelings and somebody is still like somebody's like could be holding a grudge so let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. The 
someone's not giving their time. Okay. So someone could be in a full-blown relationship here. Um, on the other hand, you have a community or you have a... You have other things that you need to attend to that need your attention. There's something that is needing your attention here. And for some of you, it has to do with somebody who you're involved with. This person is feeling like they need some attention here or you're not giving to them. There's no changes. I see nothing really changing in the near future between you guys. Somebody's still um, hoping for something. And that may be out of reach. Somebody's still trying to stay hopeful, still being patient, still waiting for um, something to change here. But I see that things are still not really changing. So let's just take a look at your outcome then. In the outcome, we have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So let's take a look. What's the outcome with Gemini and the person on Gemini's? Mind. Okay. So. Five of Swords here. I'm seeing that in the outcome, there. Honestly, I can't even lie. In the outcome, I see that. There is like a huge like blow up like things. Somebody's been holding a grudge or somebody's been holding something in for a long time. And then eventually it just like kind of uh, blows up in their face or it blows up in your face here. Uh, somebody is like not really aware of how it's affecting the other person or other people around. I do see that there is some sort of, um, there is a tough, there's a tough um, conversation that you two are having here because I see that things are still not really getting off the ground. Things are still like uh, kind of stagnant bef between you and this person here. And basically what I see is that there is there is a sense of like someone needing some space here. I see more space being given. So if you guys were barely talking, I see you guys going like, I see you guys not communicating um, because this thing is just like somebody's just been holding it in. I see some sort of grudge like being built here, but I see that this conversation could have to do with um, something new or a new person or a new opportunity here or something that could have to do also with finances but I see that there's some sort of growth that comes with this a lesson that you're learning here in terms of this situation so let's get some details for Gemini you could also be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Okay. We have a brunette female or somebody who has dark hair. You are this person here. Could have dark hair or could be a brunette female. Um... I see that there's some sort of gift that you have received from this person uh, or you have given to this person. It's something of value, something that has some sort of value to it, or it could be something small here. I see that um, when it comes to this situation, there's, I see that in the near future, nothing really is changing, but in the outcome, um, I do see some changes here and I'm not going to lie, it could lead to heartbreak or it could lead to like a full blown like fight or disagreement, not seeing the eye, eye to eye with each other here. And this is something that is kind of short lived. So 
So let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading. Okay. I see that uh, this situation wasn't meant to last here. It was toxic. I'm even hearing it was toxic from the start. Uh, we have codependency flipped out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, so somebody could be very codependent on the other person. Especially with this Four of Pentacles card. Somebody is always needing the other person to be around. They're always needing some sort of attention here. And... Um, we have give your relationship a chance so for some of you i see that you've been wondering whether or not you should give this a chance whether or not you should work on this partnership here um but i see that as time goes on you're feeling less optimistic about where this is headed here because there's something that i've feel it doesn't have to do with you um i feel like honestly i have to do like say it how i see it it has to do with cross watcher or your person here there's some sort of codependency or addiction um well codependency is some sort of addiction that this person is going through that it's like nothing that you do is enough type of situation here but this is what I'm seeing for the rest of the month. So um, if this is your storyline, if it resonates, let me know in the description box below. If you found some guidance or clarity in it, uh, let me know also down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.